close your eyes, face straight forward, and watch your breath. Take a good long deep in and out breath and see how that feels. If long breathing feels good, keep it up. Just stay with the sensation of the breathing coming in. If long breathing doesn't feel good, you can change the breathing. Make it shorter, more shallow, faster, slower, heavier, lighter. Get to know your own breath. After all, this is the force of life. This is what keeps you alive. And if the breath feels good for the body, it's going to be nourishing for the body. And it's going to be nourishing for the mind, too, because our moods depend a great deal on the state of the body right now. If the body feels irritated, the mind feels irritated pretty quickly. And then you start saying and doing things you're later going to regret. So you want to keep your breath in good shape, so you keep your mind in good shape. And when you keep your mind in good shape, then the things you do and say are going to be coming from a good place, a place of well-being inside. A place that nobody else can touch. When other people say things and do things, they can't touch this spot unless you let them. Unless, if you let their words have an effect on you, of course it's going to have a bad effect on your, your mood and your well-being. But if you've got a good, comfortable place inside, you say, you know, I'm to, I don't have to feed off their words. I've got something better to feed on right here, right now. This puts you in a much better position as you deal with other people, go through the day. Because the world is full of all kinds of people, all kinds of words. There are kind words and unkind words, helpful words and unhelpful words, well-intended and ill-intended words. And so you have to be prepared for all kinds of things like this. So you want to have a good, solid center inside where the mind feels at home. Because this is your home. It's your breath. It's your awareness. Bring the two of them together and they can create it, both working together can create a good place right here. That, where, that way, wherever you go, you've got a good place as your foundation. And you find that when things are good inside, then the goodness spreads outside as well. This is the important principle of happiness. If the mind is well trained, then you can live in any situation and you're happy. If the mind is not well trained, even good situations can have you miserable. It's easy for you, for you to make yourself miserable over all kinds of things, good or bad. But if the mind is trained, it doesn't do that. Which means that wherever you go, there's a sense of well-being. So protect your well-being. This is your responsibility. Nobody else can create well-being for you. You've got to do it yourself, so learn how to do it properly. And you find that you benefit and the people around you benefit as well.